someone to be in this room. Oh, shit, I was wrong. Where is Milo? Oh, there you are. Milo. I thought you would be in the room and I thought you would meow at me in greeting. <laughs> Wow, Milo, why are you following me? Milo, what are you doing? <laughs> You're so cute. <clears throat> gonna be weird with eye contact but I just I'm trying to figure out other ways to record my outfit myself without having to hold the camera so this is what I'm gonna try today um, so yesterday I spent a lot of time at home during the day I mean in the morning I brought Riley to Del Mar to take a walk and that was really nice although it was hotter there than I was hoping so today, unfortunately, it's also really hot, so I can't even take her for a walk right now. I woke up like close to 12 o'clock because I was sleeping really late. But yeah, I played a lot yesterday, but the thing is, I was kind of frustrated a lot yesterday also. I'm still encountering the same negative feelings that I had previously when I was playing, and it's usually because I have my expectations are too high and I also just have that really serious try hard mentality which is really hard to overcome at times so I think most players are just like chill and just playing and maybe trying to do their best but if they screw up they don't really care but if I screw up I think about letting down the four other people in my party so I don't think most people have that mentality and <clears throat> it's just something I need to work on. I need to lower my expectations. And if people make mistakes, I can't be like really pissed or agitated internally about it. So I felt that a lot yesterday and I was realizing it and I was kind of questioning myself like, you know, should I keep playing WoW if I keep feeling like this? Because when I do feel that way, I don't enjoy myself at all and I just end up in a really pissy mood, kind of easily frustrated, and it's just like not something you want to have from a game that you're supposed to be enjoying when you play. So, um, trying to, I'm trying to figure out, you know, if I can try to have a less intense thought process when I play this game. And that is kind of, you know, another reason that, uh, that person that I met off Dota that I had that brief one month thing with, that was kind of why I was so excited to meet someone like that because I don't often meet people who like research, analyze, and like really look stuff up all the time to try to make themselves better. It just felt really nice having somebody else with the same mentality because, you know, if I had four other people to do Mythic Plus with, with the same mentality as me, I think I would really enjoy it. But that's kind of hard to get. And right now, um, since it's before BFA launch, I can't really expect too much because, you know, everything that you do now is kind of going to be worthless once BFA launches. So there's no reason to be putting so much emphasis on everything that I'm doing right now. Plus, I'm under gear. None of the good people will even take me because of my gear. They don't care about the skill, they care about the gear. And, you know, what can you do? So I, um, I decided today, at least for the first half of the day, I wanted to go out, I want to get a meal by myself because that's always really enjoyable to me to just sit there, do whatever I bring. Like I'll probably listen to music, and I might bring my notebook to write in, although, I don't know, there's just too much clutter on the table to write stuff while you're eating, so I'm not sure if I want to do that, but I started compiling some ideas for 
my feedback video for 8.0, it's not really feedback, but it's more like my thoughts and how I feel about playing the spec right now, and maybe talk a little bit about what talent choices I'm choosing and why I chose to choose them. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just kind of want to go out. Sometimes if I'm holed up in my house for too long, then I start feeling a little strange, like, I need to get out, I need to do something, and even though me going out and doing something is still by myself, that's totally fine. Like, me going out doesn't have to necessarily mean I want to spend it with somebody else. It just means that, you know, I've been home for too long, I've been around the same stuff for too long, so I should go out, kind of displace myself temporarily, and then I come home feeling pretty good about it. So. Yeah, going out to eat is always like my number one choice right now because there aren't many movies that are out that I would consider worthwhile to pay for. Yeah, I am going, this is when I'm wearing to go out. Um, this is, <laughs> I always show you guys my abs in the morning because, and I feel like I'm cheating, but maybe I'll show you after I eat a meal. I'm a little nervous actually wearing a crop top to eat because after I eat, I feel like this is gonna be like this. Ooh. Hi, pups. But yeah, I guess in regards to the wild thing, like that just gets me thinking a lot um, when I feel very negative when I play the game. It's just not good. I, I got that for Dota as well. So it's def obviously I know it's a problem with me. My I just expect too much out of people. These random strangers that I'm just randomly inviting to my group that have supposedly good credits for a higher key runs. So I am probably planning on doing more keys today with more guildies. Those are the people that I've been playing with lately because we've just been doing each other's keys and they're going reasonably well, although sometimes, yeah, I still get a little frustrated. So um, we have some high keys to do today and I am going to really actively try to just have that mentality like let me try to enjoy myself first and then if the run doesn't go well then that's all right because i i think it's really hard for me to spend you know 30 to 40 minutes in a dungeon and if we get to the last boss smoothly and then we don't make timer it's very disappointing for me and it's kind of hard for me to not feel let down so that has been happening quite a bit lately actually i don't know what the hell they did to these last bosses I don't remember having particular difficulty for Cordana in Vault of the Wardens or the last boss of Upper Kara, Viz Doom or whatever the hell his name is. He was never particularly the hard one. Shade of the Deep was the hard one. So I don't know. These, I don't know if um, some things are still a little buggy where the damage is higher than it's supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> I'm really, really wanting to get a key 21 and up by the end of this week because I feel like we can and even though we're under geared I feel like we're doing a pretty good job um, for the longest time I was really reluctant to drop my four piece for tier 20 but that gear is so behind right like my tier 20 was like 195 to 205 so I'm getting you know 225 to 235 gear now so I should just replace which I did yesterday and my item level went up over 220 so closing that gap, but all right, I'm going to go out to eat. Alrighty, here is the after lunch protrusion. <laughs> I guess it's light. It's all mental where you're like, oh, I'm eating, so it's going to blow it up by a lot, but I guess this is actually not that bad at all. <laughs> but I'm so dumb, so I didn't really eat that much. I like the sides for the Korean, I ate at a Korean tofu house again, but um, the sides there I tend to really like, plus I ordered a hot pot bibimbap, which is really hot, and I don't actually like eating food that's like way too hot, or like when it just comes out, it takes a long time to cool down, probably because I bought in a hot pot, but anyways, I only ate about half of it and I freaking, I asked to take it home so they gave me a thing to put it in and I forgot to take it with me, 
when I left the restaurant, I'm actually kind of agitated about it because I had, I had a good amount of food in there and now it's all wasted. I could have had two meals for the price of one and now I just, oh man, I can be so forgetful and I don't like that at all. But um, it's really hot outside today, so hot. So I just did the 22 dark heart thicket and we got it in time. Apparently we only had nine seconds left on the timer. Um, we didn't wipe on any bosses, but we pulled a lot of extra packs, which wastes a lot of time. Sometimes even if we pull extra packs and don't wipe, well, I think we did sort of wipe once because of an extra pull, but aside from that, um, it does suck pulling extra, but sometimes I feel like if we don't wipe, then it's not as big a deal. But that felt really good to get it down because 22 feels decently high. Um, of course, I think better would be like 23, 24. Queuing up at the HT20 because the key became um, Cathedral. We're getting such bad luck with keys this week. Both of my characters have Karazhan upper and lower and then like haven't gotten any other dungeons much it feels really weird like i really like doing stuff like eye of astara or black Rock cold i like that one too so uh doing a lot of the same ones this week but i do have to admit being party leader can feel nice at times although it's a burden because you are the one that's looking everybody up and then that means you can't like afk and wait for the group to form but mainly being the one creating the group feels great because you have all the power to control who is invited to your party compared to you applying to somebody else's group. And since I am, you know, undergeared, it makes sense for me to be the one being the leader because then right now, the main reason I haven't been playing Shadow much is because I am undergeared and people are not going to take a DPS that is undergeared. Um, I think there's more leeway if you're a healer. So, yeah, I'm really happy that I decided to do that run as Shadow. I really wanted to. Um, I think I would have done all right as a healer, but stuff like the Dragon Boss and the Last Boss do make me a little nervous. So being able to DPS, I'm just way more confident. And being a hybrid class, I am happy that I'm able to help out the healer when necessary. So, yeah, I'm glad that went well. <laughs> Making sure. I am uh, keeping a positive mindset as usual. Uh, so for like the early part of the afternoon, I was really planning on walking her when it cooled down. I don't think it would have been cool enough to walk her until past seven. I was bad. I was in a Mythic Plus group and we were making a group around like seven, 10 or so. So I didn't get to walk her at all today and it sucks. I mean, I did play with her earlier to kind of burn off her energy. And when I say play, it's like, you know, the kind of wrestling where it leaves her panting at the end. So she does get her exercise. But I like to walk her. It's just very peaceful, you know, between the two of us. I guess I haven't mentioned that my parents are actually in Las Vegas right now. They are there looking at houses. And originally we were trying to meet up. But the thing is, it's five hours drive, and I don't really think I would fly there. And if I did, I would take Riley with me, but it still feels like a weird trip to make. So we wanted to meet halfway, but there's like nothing halfway. It's like desert, and there's like nothing to do. Um, Joshua Tree was actually an idea I gave to them, but the problem with that is I don't think my parents care about nature as much as I do, so I think I would really like Joshua Tree. They wouldn't. And I don't think they would enjoy spending hours out there in the desert, so... Uh, I don't think we're gonna meet up this time around. I mean, it's not that bad. I saw them in February, so it's been five months. I would like to go home, but I've been kind of stingy about buying plane tickets because I'm poor, so... I feel kind of bad about that, like managing my money poorly so that I can't, I don't feel good about spending, uh, I don't know how much it costs to fly back, 300 or something? I don't know. It's really not that bad, but yeah, just with the way that I've been managing my money, um, 
spending hundreds on a plane ticket just doesn't thrill me. Although, I mean, it would just be the plane ticket cost, I guess, because I would be staying at home. But yeah, I guess I'm pretty much done with WoW for the day. And I was going to um, record my Shadow Priest video. It's just that I probably will do it tonight. It's just that I, I feel like I don't have that much to say or not as much as people would like for me to say, but I'll try my best to come up with whatever thoughts and ideas I have. It's just that I've been playing Disc and Holy, I'd say 75% this week, Shadow only a little bit. So I just don't feel like I have as much exposure to the spec yet. I haven't used Dark Ascension that much. I would like to try using it in higher keys, but you know, DPS are so abundant, it kind of sucks. I wanted to DPS a 22 Black Rook Hold earlier with our guildies, but I decided to heal because DPS wanted to come. So if I take up a DPS slot instead of healing, I would just feel bad that we can't invite somebody else they know just because I want to DPS, but maybe I shouldn't always be that sacrificial. Um, I did enjoy Shadow a lot actually earlier in Dark Heart Thicket because I feel like playing a DPS spec, sorry if my eyes are all over the place, I don't usually film at this angle, so maybe it feels a little bit weirder for me to be looking up. The thing is, whenever I DPS, I think it's more than just enjoying the spec, it's more like when you DPS, there's less pressure on you. There's less, um, it's less stressful because I feel like anytime somebody dies as a healer, it feels like your fault, even though it isn't always necessarily, like it's very hard to know everything that went into someone's death, especially a tanks, because you don't know what cooldowns they have. I don't know what cooldowns they have because I have not been familiar with other classes in many years. I don't bother learning these other classes. I used to know everything about classes because I PvP'd and it was very important to know all of their cooldowns and stuff like that, but nowadays, since I haven't touched PvP in a while, I don't know any other class. And yes, it would probably be good for me to know all of it, but Blizzard has changed all the specs so much that I don't really think I want to care to learn how basic they've become. So yeah, you don't know everything that goes into someone's death, so even though you don't, and it might not necessarily be your fault as a healer it just always feels like your fault when someone dies so i don't like that stress all the time when i'm healing i have certainly been enjoying healing and disc feels great for specific dungeons when there isn't a lot of aoe damage but um yeah just when you dps it just feels like all the stress goes away and i just get to get into my zone of playing my spec well and it's definitely one that i enjoy even though I did mention that I plan to play healer for Battle for Azeroth, it's just really tough, I guess, for me to decide because I do really enjoy Shadow. I'm really hoping that I can play both specs next expansion, although I guess that's really dependent, right? On whether I'll be able to get the gear that is ideal for both of them. I would hope so. <laughs> but it might be a little tough. I mean, I think I'm gonna try because I don't like feeling like I have to pick one and stick with it, right? Maybe Mythic Plus gear will be good enough to allow me to play Shadow competitively in terms of doing hierarchies. And then if I'm raiding, of course, I will be given gear, that's my main spec, but I think I'm thinking too much into it again. <laughs> It's just that I like shadow and I like healing and I would really like to be able to do both without feeling like I'm giving myself by choosing an off spec and not having the proper gear for my off spec. I don't know. I really hope I get to do both. <laughs>